So I was looking at some books in the bookstore the other day, and uh, Gorilla Data Analysis Version 2, or Edition 2, by Oz de Soleil and Bill Jelen. Now, most of you are familiar with VLOOKUPs, but here's something interesting that you can do where you can have an array constant. So instead of having typically one number in here, which is your column index number, which column has our answer, you can put three different numbers separated by commas, or it could be semicolons depending on your region, and uh, those special array brackets and then you get three different answers, in this case they're numbers, and then you put the sum function around it and you add them up. So let's take a further look at this. Here's our example. Let me just, uh, here's our formula, and we're looking for J2, which is finance. We're looking for finance in this area, and this is a table one, this is a table I've, I've created, and this is our lookup area, which includes the values we're looking for, or the single value we're looking for, and also our answers. So here is the array constant. Normally you'd only have one number in there, uh, but here we have three of them. So let's take a look and see what the, the VLOOKUP has around it here. I press the F9 key, and there's the 26, those are the three numbers. Let me also um, turn this on. Those are the three columns, right? The three, the six, and the nine. And if I turn this second thing on, the conditional formatting kicks in and we see that we're adding up these three numbers because we selected finance over here. So uh, in here we have, if I highlight just the VLOOKUP part and I press the F9 key, we see that we have those three numbers and then we're adding them up with the sum. And we have to have the special array brackets uh, because the, uh, the VLOOKUP doesn't know what to do. Let me show you. If I take this, copy it, and put it in a cell, put equal, enter, it only gives us the first value, so that that's kind of scary because if you forget, see, look, if I highlight this, press F9, there's actually three values inside of there, but if you only uh, press Enter, you're only seeing the first one. So this is, I should kind of put error or look out for this because if you, that's an easy mistake to make. Now, let's look at what we can do to make this a little more interesting. Right now, I'm not using these three here at all. Um, but let's make this part dynamic so that whatever we select in here, um, it will populate and we will pull back those, those values that we want and add them up. So let's look at the second one. So basically we have changed this part into this longer match and now I'm going to do a couple of things and just compare those two formulas and it's much easier this way. Alright, so here we have our array constant and now down here we've expanded that and now we're using the match function to pull back whatever we have here. Look for this and this and this across in that range there. So let's go in here and uh, if I highlight this and press the F9 key, now we're back to what we had before, the 3, the 6, and the 9. So let's highlight this again. I'm going to copy it, press the escape key to leave the array the way it is with our control shift enter brackets. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just paste that, put the equal sign, control shift enter. Now we only, we're only getting a three, that's another uh, issue with this, right? I should drag this down again and sh this is actually an error, but this is just to show you what's inside of here. So when I press the F9 key, we see those three values. And here we are, our lookup value is actually three different values. That's why we need the control shift enter. Uh, those three values here across the top, and we are looking in that area, all right? And then of course, the zero is our indicates that we're not guessing, we're not binning. We're, we want exactly those three things or we're getting nothing. Now, before I go any further, uh, there is one other way that we could do this with a crazy array formula as we see here. Um, the reason I turn this into a table, notice how here we have, uh, it's called table two data. So this is table two and it's all, this is just the data part of that table. I'm not highlighting the, the column header at the top there. Now I did this because there is one problem with this approach, this simpler way here that I did. If I go in here and I clear it, then we get a reference error because this it can't find it. Now of course I could make this much more complicated, but I thought why, why do that? It's, that's just sort of a pain. So here's a trick that we could do. Uh, if we only want to find the data 2 and data 5, all we have to do is just change the, the dimension of the table. So right in here, 
the mouse icon changes and we just drag it up a little bit and now both this way and this crazy array formula they both realize oh wait a minute that's my table these two values only look for those two it would be the same as coming in here and saying no I don't want the nine anymore the ninth column I only want the three and the six so we can just shrink it or if we wanted to change it again let me just go back here and put in the nine again control shift enter and I come down here let me just go to a blank cell go like that drag this down and we're back to 803 for all of them so lots of fun things that you can do lots of tricks um, and I would just say check out their book it's a great book and uh, see you next time